Njoko. Other distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I will give you a brief one because His Excellency has a whole lot of other activities lined up for today. Let me begin by welcoming you all, and particularly His Excellency, Senator Hope Uzodema, the Digital Governor of Imo State to this very important occasion, which is the flag of ceremony of the cohort two of the Emo Digital Empowerment Program for Emo Lies, which we dubbed Scale Up Emo. His Excellency has not only demonstrated his belief and confidence in what the youths in Imo State are capable of doing to transform our state's economy, but has also continued to provide the guidance that enables the Imo State Ministry of Digital Economy and e-government, which is saddled with the responsibility of implementing the scheme to deliver on its mandates. As you may be aware, the Skill Up Emo project is the brainchild of His Excellency, conceived for the purpose of making Emo State the digital skills hub of Africa. And also to arrest youth unemployment while at the same time promoting the adoption of technology to stimulate social economic development of our dear states. Our gathering here today is a result of the successful implementation of the cohort one or the first leg of the Skill Up Emo scheme, which has empowered many Emolites in their areas of digital skills and learning and turn them from job seekers to job and wealth creators. Following the flag of, of the cohort one of the Skill of People project in December 2023, we have recorded remarkable milestones. Let me state that our target is being gradually attained. We have started on a good note in terms of results that we have witnessed so far. Many have been successfully trained in digital marketing, web and application development, content creation, basic data analytics, graphic design, phone and digital device repairs, programming, cyber security, among other subjects, and are graduating from the program. Today, from the diligent implementation of cohort one of the scheme across our learning centers in the state, we have empowered a lot of Emo youth shortlisted to participate in the scheme. Many have gained high paying employment by big tech organizations. Many more are launching their startups while some others are providing very innovative and groundbreaking digital driven solutions, which are today helping to solve everyday social economic problems in the state. Let me state here 
to ensure of this cost, this process of cover two of this project, which is being flagged up by His Excellency today. The Governor has further directed the Emo State Ministry of Digital Economy and e-government to explore necessary result-oriented collaborations that will help in accelerating the implementation of the scheme and accomplish accomplishment of its set target. To this end, we swung into action collaborating with more schools and even government institutions in this regard. I am therefore happy to that we have expanded our learning centers from five to ten, thereby increasing access to training on digital skills acquisition. Your Excellency, today we have centers in Imo Polytechnics Omoma. We have a new center in K.O. Mbadiwe University. We have a new center in University of Agriculture, Umuagwo. We have a new center in Clarishan University. We also have a new center in College of Health and Management Sciences in Amibo. Thank you, Your Excellency. Our target is to expand the scope of the scheme to all the nooks and crannies of Imo State. In other words, we have a mandate by His Excellency to create digital learning centers in all the 27 local government areas in Imo State. This this will bring this digital skills acquisition program to the doorsteps of every Imolite. His Excellency, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me state clearly that the vision of the digital governor of Imo State is noble and it aligns with the policy expectation not at the federal level in Nigeria, but also in line with the digital transformation taking place globally. The initiative is therefore proactive. The new world order requires a critical mass of digital skills that can be used to prepare faster social economic development of a state and a country. In our own case, Imo State has continued to take the lead under the visionary and able leadership of our governor. We have commenced a journey to achieve a target as implementation of as implementation ministry of the Skill Up Imo project. We have never looked back since we started. We would look back on the target given to us by His Excellency is resoundingly accomplished. Leadership that continues to drive this project, it is to your credit, sir, that we have recorded all the success stories in the Court 1. And we believe, as you flag up the Court 2 today, we are set to work to achieve even greater success. Let me seek the permission of His Excellency to acknowledge and appreciate the various partners who has been with us in this journey. Cisco Net Academy, Microsoft, Huawei, Zynox Computers for providing the material an intellectual resource on which the project is being delivered. I also wish to re recognize the commitment and passion of our facilitators as well as the staff of the Ministry of Digital Economy and e-government in this regard. Together, 
we shall work to achieve greater success as we ramp up activities towards making the Skill Up Imoco 2 a successful project. I thank you for listening. Nano, and God bless you. Thank you so much. Economy, Dr. Chimedi Amadi, he said, the future is digital, and in order to prepare the youth as pioneers of this future, they must be digitally literate. Emphasis on digital, uh, emphasis on must. And I can show you, as a graduate of Kilo Imo Cohort One, we are on that journey. And I pray that each and every one of us will endeavor to continually abide by the rules, the teachings. Thank you very much. I learned a mobile app and it has helped me so much in my digital skills. And I've used it to gain more um, contact. People have been reaching me. People have understand what I am doing in the digital world. And if not for this project, I won't be able to what, stand and uh, talk with different people. And after this uh, skill, I was opportunity to get some foreign clients uh, who wanted to work with me. So I wouldn't have been able to be in this level or interacting with uh, uh, the, the white people, some of the white people and some of the local people we have here. And I thank God that I have been getting some little funds from this skill that I have learned. And I just want to encourage the ones that are applying that you should just focus on this skill. Because this skill will make you better. Amen. As we receive His Excellency, the Governor of this great state, the distinguished Senator.
faith-giving God, Almighty God, the glory and thanking Him for making the day possible. Despite the rain, despite the traffic challenges, the trainees are here in their numbers. Today marks another milestone in the implementation of our shared prosperity agenda, anchored on reconstruction, rehabilitation, and recovery. prosperity government and this is what I have continued to champion here in Imo State. I recognize the fact that the youth represents our present and our future. That a dynamic, vibrant and self-reliant youth we can never be sure where the future of our state is heading to. My administration since inception has placed the economic empowerment and growth of our youth at the forefront of our priorities. Indeed, the development of human skills and human capital is vital for our economic growth. If you look at the number of young men and women here today, you will agree with me that if the number of young boys and girls present in this stadium today are carefully busy doing one productive thing on order, there will be complete security in the most state. Right, sir. For our youth, it has also been empirically submitted that the strongest economies of the future will be those best able to establish clear leadership advantage in the development of digital skills. As a matter of fact, there is no economy anymore in the world. There is only one economy, and that is the digital economy. Before 1960s, we have the butter trade as a medium of exchange. We had an analog economy. We had a situation where human effort was the aging room of growth. But only the 21st century economy and the graduated approach to advancement, the latest economy and the only economy is digital economy. This century trajectory, literacy is being IT. So you can see we have been working on illiteracy. We have energetic young men and women who are wandering in the bush because there have been any there have not been any sign of any leadership showing them money making is an art. You either know it or you don't know it. We've come to teach you that there is a new world order and the survivalist instinct in you can only manifest if you can come out from the current traditional myopia and zero because short-sightedness is not only when you are blind. 
when you lack the level of literacy and knowledge, it is the myopia of one school. So the philosophy that has informed the development of the skill of human projects is a noble and a novel digital skill acquisition and employment initiatives meant to empower our youth in Imo State. The scheme has at this nucleus the desire to develop an effective digital skills acquisition for our team in use to enable them achieve economic prosperity. Because it's not about what you do. It's not about what you want to do. It's even when you are very intelligent and you understand what you want to be, it is your desire. How do you realize your desire? The new world order is to start from the known to the to run your to the known. If you know what you want to do, how do you want to get to that place? Why are we roaming the streets looking for ministries to employ us? Why in other crimes we are to employ ministries? Because in other ways, ministries are only supposed to be regulators. The owners of every economy in advanced economy are the operators. I want to be an operator, I don't want to be a regulator. And I want to wish you to be operators, not regulators. Thank you, sir. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the skill of IMO projects an initiative developed to infuse IMO use with 21st century digital skills in line with pillar one of the IMO digital economy agenda. From 2022 to 2026, we want to be able to produce 500 billionaires that are under the age <laughs> in the name of states. China was ready to swallow Taiwan. The little leadership in Taiwan became a member of the pioneer team that embraced the digital economy. Through digital technology, they created now an economy that nobody can conquer. I want the government of Imo State to be happy as a government. But those who deny the justice and will not be interested in peace. So the opportunity for you to be happy is to benefit from the prosperity agenda. But it is only when you have an estate that you can think of writing a will before you die. Signed into a memorandum of understanding that will make us agree that we are now out to embrace a new Imo state that will stand the challenges of the 21st century economy. There is nothing called unemployment. Unemployment is a lazy man's language. Rather, what the global literature has recognized is enterprise. We must be able to initiate something all over the world. The richest men today in the world are men who brought ideas that are trailing. 
I just rule the world. I've never seen an industrialist who is a world recognized billionaire. I've never seen a trader who is ready to go to heaven because he's a good trader. Ideas and creative thinking is the password. <laughs> The projection is to graduate at least 100,000 youths every year. The scheme is essentially designed to equip our youths with the fourth industrial revolution skill sets required to thrive in a modern society. Our society is modern. Our society is no longer primitive. Even in the Bible, we have Old Testament and we punish those who committed sin. The New Testament is talking about forgiveness and salvation for everybody. So, digital innovation are reshaping and enhancing in all interactions, visually in every sector and facet of life, at a scale and speed like never witnessed in the world before. In the project being implemented today by the state government, through the Ministry of Digital Economy. Imo State Government is the only government in the Southeast with the Ministry of Digital Economy. Our target is to equip our youths with the relevant digital skills and tools. The COVID-19 pandemic Expose a lot of laxities in the world. Necessity, as you know, is the model of all inventions. We now know that you can sit here in your room and work 24 hours a day. So you can acquire a skill that you don't need the physical exertion. You don't know to queue up to enter a bus. You don't know to fight at the motor park. But yet your services will be required by the entire world market. So what are those things? That is why if you look at the curriculum of the programs we are going to go into. We are going to advance Many of you are graduates of different professions. Some of you are lawyers. Some of you are engineers. Some of you have done journalism. When you go to school after four or five years, you are graduates and you say you are in the unemployment market. Vanity of vanity. I want you to acquire something that will make the world look for you, not you looking for the world. So you have seen that one laptop can be more than four industries. You know? So all I am showing you, I want to assure you, we will be avalanche of the skills listed in that course. Choose one. Choose one or two. Take the knowledge. And once you become an expert, by the current arrangement, the tertiary institutions and organizations that are known in the world for those skills we we'll get them to issue you certificates. So when those things are done, not only that I as a governor 
the governor of Imo State, will he give you start up tools? Thank you, sir. Will you give the start up tools? And then you start your business or your work. You sit in your room. You decide what you want to do. The good news, the good news is that we have already recorded some significant milestones. Only a few weeks ago, we graduated and equipped 5,000 young men and women. And that is cohort one. And that cohort one, I flagged it off in December 2022. They have not been equipped with the skills, including in various skills, including digital marketing. If you don't know mathematics, you are not interested in science. What of social science and marketing? You can do digital marketing. And I can tell you, digital marketing is really needed in the global market today. What of web and app development? What of content creation? Basic data analytics, graphics design, programming, cyber security, as well as what of repairing the and technological equipment. There are so many things. You don't need to be a graduate to acquire these skills. Yet once you acquire these skills, you have already a license to be an automatic millionaire. So today's event, which is the flag off of cohort two, it is very important to me because the continuation of our march to achieving our target for this year, which is to graduate 100,000 young men and women, can only be in this country. We are flagging off 15,000 young men and women. Here to ensure that we will achieve before the end of this year 100,000 milestones within our implementation program. To this end, I've directed the Ministry of Digital Economy and e government to explore necessary collaborations, considered expedient to ensure increased access to skill up Imo scheme by citizens of Imo State and those who live in Imo State. On graduation, not only that we will give you the startup kits, we will ensure that professional certificates that will be recognized anywhere in the world will be issued. the case for the participants in cohort one, the, participant, the participating youth in the cohort two will be put through very intense hands-on digital entrepreneurial and literacy training. It will cover the entry, the intermediate and advanced level courses over the past four to 12 weeks. And this is going to be on various digital mod skills models. I want to beg you, make this sacrifice. Four weeks, eight weeks of 12 weeks in your life cannot cheat you. Show commitment. Trust the course, learn the course, 
acquire the skill and leave the rest for me. This will make you to compete. Once you have acquired the skill, you will be in position to compete with your counterparts anywhere in the world. This way, you can contribute not only to the economic development of Imo State, but also the economic development of Nigeria. And what is more, you will sleep when you want to sleep. You will work when you want to work. You will be self-sufficient and you will be an employer of uh, labor. Imo State is under watch. I have posted with this program and I'm passionate about it. Because we don't bring peace. We don't manage security with only gun and bullets. We must bring intellectual solutions to problems that are among men. God did not create us to suffer. God endowed the resources, natural resources, everywhere. Our inability to discover is what we are suffering from. We are committed to ensuring that we lay a solid foundation for our youth to be able to fly their digital skills flat anywhere they go and be able to excel accordingly. We shall also not relent in creating the enabling environment for you to achieve your dreams and aspirations for a greater Imo state. Let me tell you, when I came here in 2020, I see a lot of madness. People blocking the roads, putting nails on the stones, collecting tax, collecting that, collecting that. Asking people to pay money without knowing whether the people are earning money. Not only that he was not tidy, he was also ungodly. So if we empower you, you must have to be safe. We cannot ask you to pay tax when we're not sure whether you are earning money. It is only when you earn money that you can pay tax. The, the federal government, Mr. President, has taken note of the, set, the successes recorded under the cohort one. And the Federal Minister of Economy, Communication and Digital Economy, are now going to support our programs to make sure that you graduate. And as soon as you graduate, you are equipped with the necessary tools. Only last week, Coca-Cola from the United States took note of what we have recorded with this program and it gave him a grant of one million dollars. They appointed the focal person. They appointed the focal person as chief economic advisor. Professor Kenneth Amici to manage this thing. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, your success is my success. Your failure is my failure. If you are happy, I am happy. If you are not happy, I am not uh, happy. It is on this note, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I officially want to flag off this call to program and assure you, no matter what anybody wants to tell you, it has nothing to do with what zone you come from, which political party you belong to, whatever you are doing, 
who likes you or who doesn't like you. Ignore everybody, including parents, face this program. Once you're able to acquire one valuable skill, your day is made. Tell your father, who wants to write a will to give you two-story building in nature that you don't need it. Tell him that he wants to be part of the digital creation and economy. Because you make your own money and write your own way. So I want to thank you for coming and commend the commissioner in charge of this program and commend the resource persons who brought from different locations and thank them for so far a job well done. And I want to see you again when you will graduate. May God bless all of you.